Hey, welcome to Blackfish Gallery. We are enjoying our first Thursday. There is a wonderful uh, main gallery show with Paul Missel and Robert DeZono. But we are gonna enjoy our installation in our Fishbowl 2 installation window project. This is a special curated program called Without Form and Void by guest curator Christine Miller. And our featured artist this month is Rose Leon. And this is his installation entitled, Give Them Their Flowers. And we are fortunate to have Rose Leon here. And I'm gonna introduce you to him right now Welcome to Blackfish Gallery, and thank you so much for your beautiful work. Yeah. And I know everyone's excited to hear about it. Yeah, thank you guys for having me, and thank you for having my artwork displayed um, at the gallery here. It's a beautiful space, and I love how big the window is. Um, so this piece is uh, Give Them Their Flowers. Um, so this piece is dedicated to um, uh, our personal close friends and also it's a metaphor for everybody that's uh, in my community basically that has uh, done tremendous work um, but they don't get uh, congratulated enough or celebrated um, so this is dedicated to them um, I worked on this piece with a fellow artist uh, Vanessa Tello who's unfortunately isn't here to talk more about the piece with me but I couldn't have done this without her help. Uh, she helped with all of the art installation um, that you see here. And so um, these two individuals are close friends of mine. Um, they're both musicians in Portland, Oregon. The first on the very left is Rashid Wallace. He's a musician here in Portland. And that's also the gentleman in the middle with the uh, puppy Doberman is Mikey Fontaine. He's also an artist uh, out here in Portland as well. You do uh, a lot of photography of lots of different kinds of artists. I was really enjoying looking at through your in, um, social media. Yeah. So yeah, so a lot of the work that I do uh, that you see on my social media, I work with a lot of uh, people in my community um, because those are the people that I interact with and they're not highlighted enough. So I make it a purpose and it's intentional to actually work with people from my community just to put them on the spotlight so that uh, they get the recognition that they deserve because there's a lot of like diamonds in the rough here in Portland and they don't get enough recognition for the work that they do and the art that they, that they create. Um, so I feel like it is my purpose and my responsibility to make sure that those people are highlighted. And we were talking before <clears throat> starting on camera about the the need for a growing art scene. Yes. And you're uh, you're like taking charge and mm -hmm. helping make that happen, being so supportive of, yeah. of, of artists yeah, that so, need recognition. Yeah, they do. So it's just, I believe, you know, that's a, what art, art is, you can use it as a vehicle to, you know, not only promote yourself, but also promote others. And it creates this community, um, not only for yourself, but other people to like come in and enjoy the art and also create conversations that they normally wouldn't have. That's you know, beautiful. Yeah. So, so coming together and bringing a, uni a sense of unification uh, between individuals and groups and family and, you know, friends and colleagues. This installation is um, on Northwest 9th and Gleason, and it's viewable 24-7, and I'm really partial to how it looks at night. Yeah. <laughs> and the way that these lights are, I mean, check out these clouds. Yeah. There's like... 
light and dark. Yeah. <laughs> this so is shout really out good. To my, shout out to my friend, yeah. Vincitello. Um <laughs> Like I said, she was the one that spent a lot of time um, creating the clouds that you see here and also arranging um, the floral work. She was also uh, one of the ones that helped us uh, get the artists together. Yeah. Put this together. So um, shout out to her. I wish she was here to like, you know, talk about it herself and talk about the process that she put into uh, making this installation. It took us a long time um, to build this. This was a this is a labor of love, and uh, give them give them their flowers. It's basically a love letter to all of our friends in our community, and it's a metaphor for them to you know for us to give our thanks to them because they're not celebrating as much. So uh, yeah, I hope that uh, if you guys do come and check out the exhibit, that you guys enjoy. I'm just gonna get some 3D effects on there. I love how you how you really expanded through the whole space. You know, it's an installation yeah. space, and some people will hang paintings on the wall. And you guys came in, and the, you were stoked yeah, <laughs> about yeah. like, hey, can we do this? Can yeah. we do that? And it's like, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm gonna say yes to. Yeah. We're gonna say yes to everything. Yeah, because I mean, like for us, it's like you know, it's like just what you said. It, like most artists come and they you know place their painting on the wall but we wanted to utilize the space and make it a, like a art installation so i was glad when you guys told us that we were able to go ahead and do whatever we felt we could um creatively with the space and i'm glad that it, uh, our vision came out the way that it did um it looks beautiful looks incredible and i'm proud of the work that we all did great yeah. i i want to pass on a little like a little anecdote from today our our gallery yeah. director went to fedex to oh. <laughs> uh to drop off a painting that was going to be shipped to washington dc and and the person working at fedex said uh oh you're from blackfish gallery i love that installation that you have right what? now i was over wow. there i was over there no trying to way. take a photograph of it and i'm going to come over at night because it's i'm sure it looks awesome at night wow. but that was like just random you that's know? random yeah that's that's <laughs> crazy well i'm glad that it's good i'm glad that it got it's getting the reception that it is yeah um it's just a testament to the work and um, labor of love that we put into this piece. It was very intentional. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm glad that it's in the reception that it's in the love that it's getting. So Good. I appreciate that. Well, a little later in the month, uh, speaking of our director, she's going to do a, a full-on interview with, with you, and we will post that on our on our website and also uh, in our YouTube yeah. channel and all that so we'll get to hear more yeah yeah and, and maybe maybe, maybe uh your artist and your my colleague yeah your 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 your, your colleague will also be able to be part of that that'd be nice yes yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome yeah i would i would love to uh, thank you for that opportunity and uh, i appreciate you guys for allowing us to, into the space and allowing us to do what you know allowing us to do what we did here so this is incredible and i hope this uh inspires more artists um to create art just like this and more yeah um and also you know um get the word out you know, so thank you I, i'm i'm uh, appreciative so. <laughs> <laughs> well congra Perfect. congratulations it's a beautiful installation thank and you. it and it's a, a course of course way better when you see it in person oh yeah so come on down come on down <laughs> definitely come on down check it out my name is rose leon you can find me on instagram as well um, at Rose uh, at Rose X Leon on Instagram, and you can also find Vanessa Tella at I Am Vital on Instagram. Um, so yeah, come on down, check it out, take pictures if you want, and if you need prints, let let the gallery know. Oh let yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, listen. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right.